Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're going to do a not polish colour block design that could have turned out better but you know I was quite happy with the end result. So first of all we're going to go in on our Eevee hand and we're going to sculpt out our clear base. So I've applied my forms and then I've just placed crystal glass and then I take it down the sides. Can't breathe just run up the stairs I'm so unfit. <laughs> Um, down the sides, getting it to the desired shape and length that I want um, and not too thick. So our clear base needs to be nice and thin that if it's any thinner, it will break. So then we're going to move on and do the first colour block nail, which is going to be like chevron smile lines. Um, I'm using... Oh, I seriously should not run up them stairs. I'm using Perfect Peach and then I'm using a craft knife just to slice in so this is the first time i've really used knives like i don't really use it that often um i do find i get a better kind of result when i actually just use my file and my brush but then obviously it's more tedious isn't it because you have to wait for it to dry file it put your next color on blah 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 so i wanted to have a go with this and it was actually a challenge in the cjp group that carly riley set she set the checkered nail challenges which is what we're going to be doing on the index finger um and she was saying how she uses a craft knife so i thought i'd give it a bash and have a go and take part because let's face it there's not really much else for us to do with acrylic wise so i hope we're all keeping safe and well anyway i'm sorry it's been a few days I just kind of haven't really been in the frame to do any sort of videos especially looking after all the kids at home trying to keep them entertained um which you all know if you have children it's hard work so then we're going to go straight on with the next color which is smurf and we're just basically going to do the same thing again and again keeping our wall nice and high keeping the thickness of the nail to the same sort of length we want the whole nail the same thickness sorry that we want the whole nail to be um otherwise we're going to file in away the design which i do at the end a little bit which was annoying but i covered it up with gel so i'm going to do the same process again and again all the way down this nail
So because I've done two very intricate designs on this set, I will just go in on the rest of the nails and do plain designs. So the middle finger is just going to be a full nail of Smurf, just a beautiful blue and a more, there's not another perfect blue that will complement uh, for the sort of NHS staff that are all doing, the amazing thing they're all doing and, and let's not forget all the key workers as well. Um, but I just wanted to do something blue um, it's not really much is it it's just a little gesture of a nice blue just to show some appreciation to the NHS so yeah full smurf and on the pinky finger is going to be ice baby it's like a pre-mixed glitter it's absolutely stunning I love it so just going to put that on full nail there and leave that to dry then we're going to go on to the checkered nail So basically all I do is put on a bead, slice into it to make a square and then go in with my other beads either side with white and try and do the same. Now this is the first time I've ever tried this and I'm not going to lie, it was tedious as hell. Will I try it again? Probably not. <laughs> Will I do it on a client? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really fun trying it and it actually made me want to really up my sort of geometric cutout designs game because you get a bit complacent don't we with nail art I mean we've all done it we can all do a marble we can all do a small line we can all do a bit of 3d I mean I don't mean that as in we all can obviously some people are at different levels of their um, career and stuff like that but for me I'm just bored of doing the same thing over and over again so I'm going to try and work hard with some geometric um, not polished designs so yeah as you can see I just go down the hole now and I didn't leave the whole thing in because you would be asleep I'm telling you by the time we were finished um, but I basically just do the same process down the whole entire nail adding different colours on each side adding the different colour in the centre and then chopping into it so now I'm coming in with my e-file, we're just going to whiz over these nails, take off all of the bulk, reveal our nice design, getting rid of all the excess products. So on this nail it was really lovely, it wasn't as even as I wanted it to be, um, which is kind of where I like it when you can file it because you can sort of see more. But again it's just practice and I will keep practicing these just to see how they go. And I did end up filing a little bit off the tip of that um, white design, the chevron one. So basically all I did at the end of the set was apply a little bit of white nail art gel and just kind of fix that up a little bit. So again, this is the checkered nail. We're just doing the same thing, removing all the bulk, filing down. And the e-file bit that I'm using is the smooth top safety bit in a fine grit from Chrissy Pierce or Nail Dot Supplies. And then that is that. And then we're going to go in and apply our top coat. So the top coat I'm using is the Time to Shine uh, Hema Free from CJP. Top coat on all of the nails, curing the lamp, apply some cuticle oil to your lovely silicone hands so it doesn't look as um, scruffy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is the end of the video. I've left a little clip so you can see the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're all keeping safe. Let me know in the comments what you're all up to, keeping yourself sane in this crazy times. I love you all and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye.